Post Malone, whose real name is Austin Richard Post, got his big break into the music scene with his very first official single, White Iverson. Since then, he's continued to win hearts with his introspective songwriting and terse vocal style. Consequently, he's risen to the top of the industry, even in terms of earnings, making him one of the highest paid rappers in the world. The big question we ask in this video today is, how does he spend his millions? If you're curious about the rapper's spending habits, look no further as we take a deep dive into some of his lucrative purchases. We just love Post on this channel. If you guys are a fan of him as well, please comment below to let us know what song is your all-time fave. Now let's get rap into it. For those of you who don't know, Post Malone is an American singer-songwriter, rapper, record producer, and actor. Post, renowned for his reflective songwriting and hushed singing, has won praise for fusing various genres, including country, grunge, hip-hop, and R&B. The fact is that Post Malone spent years perfecting his abilities before he became a success, contrary to what many of his contemporaries believe about his meteoric ascent to popularity. Post Malone's net worth increased from 14 to $45 million as a result of his current fame and popularity. He isn't averse to spending money on some incredibly extravagant and ridiculous things. What an incredible journey he's had so far. College certainly wasn't for him, and dropping out to pursue this career has paid dividends. His Luxurious Houses The rapper is an ecstatic owner of three luxurious mansions, two in Utah and one in Los Angeles, California. For the $4 million mansion in Utah, we're talking five bedrooms, six bathrooms, a chef's kitchen, a bar, a basketball court, separate guest quarters, a private office, and a well-stacked fitness room. And to top things off, we have a beautiful living room with a must-have fireplace if you're going to live in such cold climates, you know, to create that nice warm winter ambiance. The mansion also reportedly has a bunker under the 12,702 square foot mansion, which Post alluded to in an interview saying, I'm building it underground. It's going to be fun until the world ends, but whenever the world ends, it's going to be functional. Does Post Malone know something that we don't, or is it another extravagant way to blow money? We've heard about his distrust with the U.S. government, calling it the biggest liar in the world, urging people to move away. Maybe this has something to do with it. What about his California house? Well, glad you asked. This beast of a property is located in L.A. and valued at more than $26 million. The lavish house is an 11,200-square-foot residence with six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, two half-bathrooms and vanishing glass walls that let you take in the stunning vistas from every room a hidden zen garden, a gym, a guest house, a movie theater, a glass wine cellar, a gated driveway, and an outdoor kitchen are a few of the other opulent amenities featured here. Just check out the view you can have with its wraparound pool. Wow! While this place was being used as an opulent rental property, it went up for sale in 2019 for $26 million. His Luxurious Cars Which vehicle does Post Malone own? Well, he's quite the car connoisseur and thus owns a few. Post has more than 10 automobiles, his favorite being a Rolls-Royce Phantom EWB, according to the DuPont Registry. However, he owned a Rolls-Royce Wraith before purchasing his new love, which cost about $330,000 and was unfortunately involved in a crash in 2018. The Phantom boasts a stylish interior and has a powerful collection of mechanical parts under the hood, being able to generate a powerful 563 horsepower. And of course, like all of his other cars, it has a white exterior. Next, we have the Ford GT owned by Post, which was created in the second quarter of 2021. The second-generation Ford GT has a white over black look and goes nicely with his current collection. Boy, do we love this 647-horsepower iconic supercar. It's able to accelerate 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds and reaches a top speed of 216 miles per hour. Nice! This ride will have cost him in the $500,000 range. Next is one of Post Malone's biggest vehicles, the Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6. The truck is powered by a supercharged 5-liter V8 engine on an F-150 donor vehicle that has been heavily modified and comes in at no less than $350,000. In 2018, Post Malone bought the Lamborghini Aventador SV, which is valued at over $500,000 according to CarBuzz. However, the rapper considerably raised the car's worth by including a number of aftermarket modifications, including a carbon fiber system and Brixton forged wheels. Speed, you ask? Over 217 miles per hour and a 0 to 62 mph in under 2.8 seconds. In the first quarter of 2018, 
Post Malone reportedly got a Shelby F-150 Super Snake, according to Auto Evolution. On Stradman's YouTube account, a video shows the rapper's garage housing this butte, of which only 250 were made globally. These start at about 86k. We're about halfway guys, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Stay tuned as we have his most expensive car coming up next. We'll also explore his nerdy side, his NFT collection, as well as his love for food, in just a moment. Before we get back into it though, please show us some love by subscribing to our channel now and hitting the bell notification to all. Done? Let's get back into it. Next in 2021, the rapper reportedly spent a blistering $3 million on the all-too-famous celeb supercar, the Bugatti Chiron. Reports have it that he was the first man to have and ride this vehicle, and again, white in exterior color to add to his sleek lineup. The Drive claims that Post bought a pretty standard Subaru WRX. He purchased this one in Salt Lake City at the beginning of 2019 and only cost him something like $32,000. After the rapper paid a visit to the Nate Wade Subaru outlet, the dealership expressed gratitude for the man's assistance and generosity on Facebook. The Drive also claimed that in 2019, Post Malone bought a 1968 Chevrolet C10 from the neighboring Salt Lake City dealership. The Chevrolet had a 6-liter V8 engine, an exterior finish that's rustic looking as hell, and low-riding air suspensions clearly visible. Pimpin' yo! We may also have to briefly add his other ghetto-looking car, the 1992 Ford Explorer, which sent him back $75,000. He spent a considerable amount of money to pump up this bad boy, and it shows. Last but definitely not least are the 1966 Lincoln Continental and the 2019 McLaren Senna XP. The Lincoln Continental is one of his most badass cars in his collections, having a long body, suicide doors, and that low stance to the ground. We love the white and gold ghetto look, giving it some serious gangsta vibes. Last, we have the McLaren Senna, which, on the other hand, is a sleek hypercar of which only three were ever made. Post has put this one on the market, though, for a cool $1.7 million. His Nerdy Purchase Post Malone has regularly embraced his geeky side throughout the years. For instance, Malone is such a huge Pokemon lover that there were reports that a card with his likeness on it would be formally issued. And to top it all off, Malone gave a virtual music performance as a part of the celebrations celebrating Pokemon's 25th birthday. Unsurprisingly, Post Malone is ready to spend a significant amount of money to satisfy his obsessive interests. For example, Malone turned out to the Frank and Son collectible show in California in April 2021 during the COVID-19 epidemic to get some incredibly pricey Magic the Gathering cards. Malone paid thousands of dollars during the event, according to TMZ, though the exact sum is unknown. It is safe to guess that it was only a portion of what Malone has spent on his pastime, given that it is evident he's a Magic the Gathering collector. His NFT Purchase Post Malone has made it quite apparent during his time in the spotlight that he has an entirely different perspective on the world than most people. Malone, after all, has a distinctive sense of style, and unlike many other celebrities who always seem to be trying to look fashionable, Post always appears to be true to himself. It shouldn't surprise anyone that Post Malone is entirely eager to accept new trends and technologies. Malone was prepared to invest a sizable sum of money in joining the NFT market in late 2021 when the majority of people still look to be having trouble understanding what an NFT is. It was reported that Post Malone purchased two Bored Ape NFTs in November 2021. Malone's acceptance of the fashionable market was noteworthy enough, but the amount he spent truly amazes many, considering that he spent about $734,000 for the two NFTs. Now that is a mind-bogglingly high for some digital art. His Luxurious Jewelry the rapper bought jewelry with some of his money, and without question, his collection is among the greatest in the business. His bling ranges from the Dallas Cowboys star chain worth more than $250,000 to his vast Rolex watch collection. And get this, he even got a stainless steel Rolex as a gift from his management to mark the musician's 21st birthday, and is worth anywhere from $6,500 to $75,000. In 2019, Post purchased a Mill Skull Watch. Despite having no obvious diamonds or gold, this watch was worth an astounding $1 million. You can see the gears underneath the watch's face since it is such an open concept design. The mechanics combine to create the shape of a skull, and for added menace, it dons a red flashing light beneath it to add to its sinister looks. Cool. We've come to the end of today's video now though, and thank you for watching until the end. 
Which of Malone's purchases dropped your jaw the most? Be sure to share your comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting content. We bring you three new views every week. Bye for now, guys.